What is up guys? So for this video I wanted to discuss the potential of clients that Saul Goodman represented in Breaking Bad appearing in the plot of Better Call Saul in season 4. Don't drink and drive, but if you do, call me. Okay, so as the plot moving forward in season 4 of Better Call Saul begins to progress towards Jimmy establishing a law practice we first saw in season 2 of Breaking Bad, I think we could hypothetically see the writers begin to incorporate various aspects of Saul Goodman's throwaway dialogue where he revealed details surrounding the clients that he represented over the course of Breaking Bad. Two major clients that I I have discussed in my previous videos that Saul Goodman stated that he represented in Breaking Bad prior to the point in time where he first met and did business with Walter White were Vamanos Pest and Emilio. With this being said, moving forward in Season 4 of Better Call Saul, I think there is a very good chance that we could see these clients begin to emerge in the plot at some point in time prior to the conclusion of the series. So taking this into consideration, in addition to Vamanos Pest and Emilio, Saul also stated in his dialogue from Breaking Bad that he represented and associated with additional characters who also appeared in the plot of Breaking Bad as well. For example, in Season 2 of Breaking Bad in the very first episode which Saul Goodman appears in, entitled Better Call Saul, we hear Saul state to Walter White during their very first encounter that he represented Spooge, the junkie who robbed Skinny Pete. I, I've been told that, that one of them killed another man by crushing his head with an ATM machine. <laughs> People love to take credit for the fun ones. The guy who got his head smushed used to be a client of mine. So, taking the scene into consideration, the writers could choose to utilize the Saul Goodman dialogue from Season 2 of Breaking Bad in order to bring Spooge into the plot of Better Call Saul in some capacity moving forward in Season 4. Additionally, based on the very open-ended nature of this dialogue by Saul Goodman, this gives the writers essentially a blank canvas in regards to a potential plot involving Spooge in Better Call Saul based on the lack of any real significant concrete details that would need to be adhered to in a plot of this nature. For example, based on the very open-ended nature of this dialogue from Breaking Bad, we could even hypothetically see the writers decide to incorporate Spooge in a plot in Better Call Saul where he is represented by Saul Goodman prior to his drug addiction. Furthermore, another Breaking Bad character which Saul also stated that he had some sort of association with was James Edward Kilkelly, also known as Jimmy in and out Like Spooge, we also heard Saul Goodman mention James Edward Kilkelly in the episode entitled Better Call Saul, where Saul discussed some background information regarding James Edward Kilkelly to Walt and Jesse. Jimmy provides a very special service for a price Jimmy will go to prison for you. On purpose? The guy goes to prison on purpose. He's actually more comfortable inside. The outside world hasn't been too kind to him. Sometime during the Clinton administration, Jimmy figured out how he could use his talents to turn a profit. $80,000 for eight years of his life. Huh? First of all, he's not going to do eight years. I'm going to represent him, and I guarantee there's going to be some unexpected problems with the prosecution's case. So in this scene, while it is clear that Saul had some sort of relationship with James Edward Kilkelly, it is still very unclear how Saul met and got in contact with him prior to the scene in Season 2 of Breaking Bad, and we also currently don't know if Saul represented him as a client prior to this plot in Season 2 of Breaking Bad as well. So taking the dialogue in the scene into consideration, we could possibly see the writers insert James Edward Kilkelly in some capacity in the plot of Better Call Saul in order to develop the backstory of his character and his association to Saul Goodman moving forward in Season 4. Moreover, in addition to these two characters, I am also very curious to see if Jimmy McGill or Saul Goodman will represent Skinny Pete in the plot of Better Call Saul moving forward in Season 4 as well. As we all remember from the plot of Breaking Bad, we know that Skinny Pete spent some time in Los Lunas prison and was even in the same cell block as Tuco. So with this in mind, while there is no information in the dialogue of Breaking Bad that definitively states that Skinny Pete was represented by Saul Goodman prior to his time in prison, there is also no dialogue that directly contradicts this either. So with this being said, I am very interested to see if the writers will decide to incorporate a plot in Better Call Saul where Skinny Pete meets and or is represented by Jimmy McGill or Saul Goodman prior to his time in prison. So, taking all this into consideration, based on the apparent desire of the creators of Better Call Saul to incorporate as many Breaking Bad characters as naturally possible into the plot of Better Call Saul, it appears that the incorporation of various plots and scenes involving Breaking Bad characters who were clients and associates of Saul Goodman would be a very natural way to successfully bring back many more Breaking Bad characters who have yet to make an appearance in the plot of Better Call Saul as of the conclusion of Season 3. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you to every single person who has subscribed to my channel. Your support has been absolutely incredible. I have really enjoyed making videos about Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad, as we all wait for the premiere of Season 4 of Better Call Saul, and I'm really glad you've enjoyed watching them. As always, my name is Anton Jackson, thanks again for watching, and thank you again for all of your support.